Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology. Alright, and today we are going to be looking at the system of classification of living organisms. Alright, system of classification of living organisms. Now there are two basic systems of classifying living organisms. And then the first is the two system classification, which is the old system. All right. And then we have the five system number two, the five system classification. All right. Which is the new system. Okay, so these are the two systems of what of classifying what living what organisms. The two system classification, which is the old system, and the five system classification, which is the new system. On in this episode of this video, we are going to look at the two system classification. Okay, now uh, as proposed by Carolus Linus, who is the father of taxonomy, right? These two system classification, right, were proposed by what Carolus Linus. Who is the father of what of taxonomy? All right, or classified by what by proposed by what Carlos Linnaeus, who is the father of what taxonomy? He what classified what living organisms into two kingdoms. He classified living organisms into two kingdoms. The first kingdom is kingdom number one is what kingdom plantier for plants. Then number two. Is kingdom animalia animalia for animals? All right. So these are what this is what the system of class of classification for according to what it's two system classification by Carolus Linus. All right. It classifies what living organism into two kingdoms: kingdom plantier for plants and kingdom or what animalia for what for animals. All right. Now. Under this kingdom plantier, all right, it classified what living organism under what into rather under what kingdom plantier, it classified living organism into one. We have chisophytes, chisophytes, or bacteria, all right, chisophytes or bacteria. Then, of course, after chisophytes or bacteria, we now have talophytes, talophytes. And under these talophytes, we have algae, right? We have blue, green algae, all right? And then, of course, we now have fungi. This is the two system classification, all right? They are into what? They are what? The plants into what? Uh, five other further classifications. Chisophytes, that is the bacteria. Talophytes, algae, blue, green algae, and fungi. Then three bryophytes. All right, chisophytes, talophytes, bryophytes. Then four, we have pteridophytes, pteridophytes. All right, and then of course number five, we have spermatophytes. Okay, so please follow follow closely. The two system classification proposed by Carlos Ninos, right? Classify what the kingdom plantae. Right into what this what classes chisophyte that is the bacteria, tal talophyte the algae, the blue green algae and the fungi, then the bryophytes, then the pteridophytes and the spermatophytes. You must know this. All right. Now that means that the evolutionary trend. All right. In this what uh, classification of plants, the evolutionary trend. Let me show you the evolutionary trend in this classification of plants will be from the from chisophyta evolutionary trend evolutionary trend we start from what from the chisophyta all right from the chisophyta of course to the talophytas okay chisophytas to what to talophytas then of course to bryophytas bryophytas then to what pteridophytas Pteridophytes, 
then of course to what to spermatophytes okay so this will be what the uh, evolutionary trend starting from chisophyta to talophyta to bryophyta to teridophyta and to spermatophyta all right now having known this know that what under these two system classification there were some drawbacks there were some drawbacks that is why of course we're calling the old system that means they say more upgraded was system of classifying or living organisms that what that is in very very inclusive all right that's very very inclusive that's much more inclusive than what than the two system classification all right there were some drawbacks one of the drawbacks is that unicellular organisms did not fit into any of the kingdoms the drawbacks let's look at the drawbacks right let's look at the drawbacks of this system of classification the drawbacks one is that unicellular organisms did not fit into any of the system all right unicellular organisms did not fit into any of the system and of course he classified he classified the system all right the system classified photosynthetic plants photosynthetic organisms that is the plants all right and and the non photosynthetic organism non photosynthetic organisms all right that is the fungi right under the same kingdom That's kingdom plantae. All right, let me take this evolutionary trend out, please. Take note of this evolutionary trend. All right, okay. So we're looking at the drawbacks of what this system of classification. Number one is that unicellular organism did not fit into any of the kingdom. Unicellular organism did not fit into any of the kingdoms, and of course, the system classified photosynthetic organisms, that is plants, and non-photosynthetic organisms, that is fungi, under the same kingdom, plantae. Which is what kind of what a, a a drawback all right and then also the system did not what let me say the system the system did not distinguish between eukaryotes eukaryotes and prokaryotes. All right. Now these are the three word drawbacks that we had what for this system of classification. One, the cellular organism did not fit into any of the system. Two, it, the system classified photosynthetic organisms that is plants and non-photosynthetic organisms that is fungi under the same kingdom plantae. And of course, the system did not distinguish between eukaryotes and what and prokaryotes. All right. Now let us see a question from the OT school jump up. The past question from the O3 school jump how to what to drive or this point home. And of course, you should get your app immediately. This is uh, the question is busy displayed on your screen right now. This is biology 2018 model one, question 14. They say the hierarchy of organic evolution in plant progressiveness. The hierarchy of organic evolution in plant progressiveness is as you can see here, you have talophyta, chisophyta, bryophyta to fighter and smart fighter of course that is very wrong because you know that what the progressiveness is from what from chisophytes from chisophyta first all right that means that option a is wrong then b we have chisophytes we have talophytes we now have bryophyta we now have teridophyta and spermatophyta let's leave that option first then see we have teridophytes that one is very far wrong because it starts from chisophytes then d starts from what bryophyta that one is wrong that gives our correct answer to be what to be b starting from what from chisophytes to talophytes, then to bryophytes, teridophyta, and then was spermatophyta. All right. So please make sure you get your app today. Download. And do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to also subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones. Let them also learn and succeed. All right. And with this, I'll see you in the next episode as we discuss the five kingdom classification. See you there.